Hey guys, it's Mike Thomas. I want to talk about my polyphasic sleep experiment. So I've noticed a lot of guys making videos, they jump into the Uberman and then you don't see them, they stop making videos because it's tough. It's real tough. I don't actually know how tough it is. I know how tough the Everyman is. And they say that's supposed to be easier. It's called Everyman because Everyman supposedly can do it. And I even found that too tough. I've been thinking about nothing but polyphasic sleep for the past, the best part of the past two months. So I'm persevering. I had to take a slow approach. I knew that I couldn't just jump into the everyman. So what I did was I just cut back an hour on my sleep. I always throughout my life have averaged between seven to eight hours and I do very well on seven to eight hours. I can function very sharp. I have my days, but I can do well on that. I cut back to six hours and I did that for the best part of three weeks, having a six hour core and a nap in the afternoon. I'm assuming that you know what polyphasic sleep is. I'm not gonna explain what it is. So then I, I took that to five hour core and a nap and I've been doing that for the past two weeks and I'm really ready to start the Everyman like I did a couple of months ago. And I I really, I think I'm gonna be okay this time round. Tomorrow, tonight, I'm gonna to get between three hours and three and a half hours core and I'm gonna take three 20 minute naps. So I think the reason why people give up is because they try and jump into it too soon. Going straight from seven to eight hours to just two hours a night, I think is a real shock to the system. Even when I was on six hours, my body felt like lead. And that brings me to the first point I wanna make is you need a strong enough why and you need to be doing something that is engaging early in the morning between those hours of you know 1 a.m and 6 a.m and what i was doing i was watching youtube videos they were educational videos but it wasn't engaging enough and i'd be sat there and i'd be going like that so what i did was instead of doing that i worked on my coaching business and that really inspires me it's part of my calling it's what i believe is my purpose and it's engaging enough that I don't notice the tiredness as much. I think also what happens is we get really excited about something and we imagine the possibilities of what could happen in our lives if we live that way but between the journey of getting from there to actually having that lifestyle is a mass can be a massive journey and if you don't have a strong enough why if you don't know like deep within you why you're putting yourself through that you're not going to have enough to stay the course now one thing that i have noticed and i fully grasp the importance of it and i, I kind of know what people are talking about now is REM sleep when you take a nap and you actually go into REM because for the first three weeks or so when I was doing my naps I wasn't really hitting REM I was getting rest but not that rest that you get from going into REM and when you go into REM you have a dream so you know you're hitting REM in your naps when you're waking up with a, a with a memory of a vivid dream and when I woke up from REM it was only 20 minutes but I felt so refreshed and alert that it was almost like I'd slept for a couple of hours so and it's that's the peculiar thing and I'm looking forward to experiencing more of that so I think it's really adapting to the naps adapting to being able to go to sleep and go straight into REM quickly because that's what gives you that restorative feeling at least that's what I've experienced. So it's been a slow process as I said I was doing six hours core for three weeks it took a while but towards the end of the second week I wasn't 
getting any of that nodding off. I was just, I was fine. And moving to five hours call was, again, there's a little bit of that for the first few days because I'm going an hour less than what my body had been used to, but you adapt to it. So tonight, I'm going to go to bed about 10 p.m., get a three hour to a three and a half hour call, take my first nap about four o'clock, 10 past four a.m., another nap about eight o'clock, eight, 10 past eight a.m., and then another nap about two p.m. I'll put a link below as to how I came about with that schedule because I came across this schedule from a website. I'll leave the link below for you to check it out. Take it easy. Hope you got something from this. Peace.